Hey everyone, it's Carrie over at DoubleClick. Today I wanted to share a Goodwill haul. Um, I just, I had to go to the dollar store next door. There's a Goodwill. So I ran in and, oh my gosh. Okay, so look at this little like drawer. Like a, I don't know, probably some kind of vintage just drawer. I pulled the tag off. It was $3.49. And I was actually looking for something to slip my scrap paper into. So yeah, I'm in love with this and I'm going to find a spot for this in my craft room. And actually I'm gonna be using this to put, okay, so I was talking to the manager over there. So there were these three bags of stamps, some like mini punches. These were like stamps and other things and like these stamps. And I was totally inspired by, um, this YouTuber that I was watching, I am going to see if I can quickly find her. I think her name is Anita. She does like stamping. Anyway, I'm going to link her uh, shop down below when I find it. And so she, she like does amazing things with stamps. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need to pick up some stamps. Even though I said I was never buying stamps again. Um, sure you can relate. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to have to link it below, but I think her name is Anita or maybe Anne. But anyway, um, all of these bags together, it would have been like $12 and like 98 cents. And I was like, oh, I was just hoping to like maybe separate them and just take one bag. And she said she wasn't allowed to do that. So I was like, okay, well, thanks anyway. And I was told her I was just going to go put them back. So anyway, I was walking through the store and later on, she's like, you know what? How about this? How about I just reduce the price for you? So she ended up giving me all three bags for $6.99 all three of these bags so it was like almost half off so I was so appreciative I thought that was so sweet and I'm not going to keep all these um so I figured I would just redonate what I'm not going to use so let's dive in to these stamps super excited and I have like a clear bin right here to the right of me that I'm just going to be uh, putting anything that I'm not keeping and then I'm going to keep the ones that I am going to keep I'm going to put right in that little drawer that I just picked up Okay, let's see. Hopefully you can see this. I'll check a few times. Um, so we have a border punch that does the heart. Uh, I don't think I will use this. Let me see where I'm at with this. So, okay. Uh, border punch with a heart. I, I'll test it to see how it comes out, but I've had these before. I'd never use them. So this is going to be into the test pile. Um, I've had something very similar like this before. This is not something I'm going to use, so I'm going to redonate that. And uh, inks, I won't use these, so I'm going to donate those. Uh, this is a Mickey Mouse head. I do have a Mickey Mouse box, so I am going to put this in that Mickey Mouse box. My Disney box, I should say. Uh, this is an apple. I am almost for sure... That I have this because I thought it was a pumpkin and my daughter thought well maybe it's an apple so I'm going to put this into the check pile and if I already have it I'm going to redonate. Okay so what do we have here? I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see a little bit better. All right so oh my gosh these are so cute little little bears. Okay so I'm going to keep these guys. And this is a little bear with a heart. I'm going to donate that. That's really little. Um, a duck. I don't think I have this one. I will check my baby box. So I'm going to put this in my check pile. This little house. I actually do like this house. It's like the modern type. So I am going to keep this one. And then we have a little Christmas bear to and from. I probably will keep this one so I can have that for my Christmas tags. So I'll keep this one. And what is this one? This is still in the package. This is a 1997 um, swirl. I am going to donate this one. I would never use this one. And the rest in here look like alphabets. And I have tons of alphabet stamps so I am going to donate all of these and into the donate pile okay moving on let's see what we've got 
Okay, this is a super cute honey pot bear. He's sitting in a jar. Let's see, Design Co. Honey Bear. So I'm gonna keep this one because I like the size of it and it's super cute. Little school bus one. Um, I mean, I could put this with my school cause, uh, supplies because it's unique. I don't have anything like this, so I'll keep that one. And this is something I feel like I would use if my kids were in school for like school projects. But it is a decent size. So limited edition 1993. I guess I'll keep this one. Um, this is 1989 Hero Arts the Flower. Um, I think I'll probably donate this one. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. And we have this little, uh, this is from 1988. I wonder what's the earliest year that we're going to find. This is like a bear, an airplane. I'm going to donate this one. And like a little bear in a bear's uniform. That's cute. 1985. Okay, so I think that's the, the earliest one so far. But I don't see myself using this one, so I'm going to donate him. And look, it's, um, who's that? Donald Duck. That's cute. Disney company so I'm gonna keep this one and put it in my Disney box we have a little hat I don't see myself using that uh, 1988 so we will go ahead and redonate that one and we have a little rag doll she's cute um, I wonder if this is some kind of set cuz that 1988 is let's see Oh yeah, it must be some kind of set because that's the other one. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll Google that out of curiosity. Then we have some balloons. I have tons of balloon stamps. Uh, 1988 Hero Arts, but I'm going to donate this one. And here we have this 2000 Stampin' Up! Is this like a uh, Chrysis um, mistletoe? But I am going to keep this in my Christmas stash, so I'm going to keep that one. Um, then we have Out of This World, 1985. I'm going to donate this one. I would, would not use that one. And then here's like a little Christmas bear. He is cute. He's really little. 1989. Um, I'm going to keep him. This is like a little, uh, a cute little hippo. He's, I mean, this is like little, little. This is another 1988 one. Like, I don't think I would use this, but I think I will keep this and put it on the display where I keep all my other stamps because, like, he's cute. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Say it to the hand. <laughs> okay. That's pretty funny. When is this from? 1999. That's probably about right. I think I'm going to have to keep this one to display because that's pretty funny. <laughs> um, turkeys welcome. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's cute. This would be fun trying to color. Let's see. Uh, 1998. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and put this in my fall box because that's kind of cute. Oh, and this looks like this is a duplicate. Let me see. It is. It is. So I'm just going to I'm just going to donate this. So donate that one. And this is also a limited edition. Oh, this is kind of cute. Maybe for like a baby album. 1993. So okay, we'll keep this one as well. All right. And the last bag, and this is actually the bag that I wanted. Um, so let's take a look. See, um, we just have some snowflakes. This, I think I have something similar, but I'm not for sure. But I am going to keep this and put it in my Christmas box so I can make like a background stamp. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, then we have Angel Trio right there and I'm going to put these with my Christmas ones. I'm going to keep this one. 
and this little bear holding a heart 1987 um, he's small enough where I think I'll just put him with my Valentine's Day because he's cute and this was one of the reasons that I wanted this bag was because of this cute pumpkin and this kitty cat adorable let's see 1998 so I'm gonna put this with my Halloween stash very cute one there and we have this one I'm not this isn't really like my style so I'm gonna donate this one and stamped with a smile by um, I probably won't use this one 2000 stampin up I'm just gonna donate this one and then we have a uh, the globe or the earth I love these ones so I'm gonna definitely keep this one planet earth 1990 so I'm gonna keep that one and then what do we have we have like a wizard bear uh, magic bear with wand hmm um, I will keep him, but I'm not sure what I should keep him in. What do you think? It's a wizard bear. Is this something Disney or is this something Christmas? Well, let me know below what you guys think. Where would I keep a bear like this? Okay. And what do we have? This is Posh Impressions. So these are border stamps. And I definitely would not use these, so I'm going to donate this one, and it's huge. Then we have a 1999 uh, snail. He's cute, but I, would, I don't think I would ever use him, so I'm going to donate him. A um, little paint splash. I have similar splashes in uh, like clear stamps, so I'm going to donate this one. And then, like, this was one of the problems. Here's, like, the rest of the alphabet that was in one of the other bags. So I'm going to donate these. But I'm going to put them all in one bag so the next person can buy, like, all of them in one shot. Okay, so this is what, this was the reason why I wanted this bag. This penguin, I wanted to add it to my Christmas stamp collection. He's so cute. He should be super easy for me to attempt to color. So, yeah, this was one of the reasons I wanted it. Peter Penguin. Um, I can't this is too small for me to read but design co whatever the company that is super cute i'm gonna keep that one and these trees i'm definitely keeping these i love trees this looks like a really old stamp you know i wonder how that's actually going to stamp it looks really like worn out so 1985 those are my oldest i had one other one from 1985 and then we have this heart bouquet. This is, I've had similar and I don't use them. So I'm going to redonate this one. And I had something similar to this as well. I'm going to redonate that one. Oh, and this is like a little Christmas tree punch. Um, I have a Christmas tree punch, but I'm not sure the size. So I'm going to check my stash before I redonate this. If I have it already, I'll donate it. If I don't, it's going in my Christmas stash. And here we have. Um, it's like a picture frame type stamp. I don't think I would use this one, so it might be good for a baby on, but man, that's so small. I don't think I could ever color anything that small. I'm, I think I'm going to donate this one. I, I'm going to put this in the maybe. I'm undecided. Oh, look, and we have little Christmas lights. Those are cute. Okay, I'm going to keep those in my, for my Christmas stash. And then I know I have this one already. I think I got this in my last Goodwill haul. I'm going to donate this one. And we have like the planets. And um, I do Shooting Star Galaxy 1991. Um, I do like uh, galaxy type things. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet though. And then we have, what is this? 1988 um it's like bus stop <laughs> kid like that's what I think it is like people crossing from a bus stop but I could put it with my school it's unique and different the stamp is kind of different so I'm gonna put that in my um in my school 
And then we have a little leaf. I wouldn't use this one, so I'm going to donate that one. And then in the rest of this bag, we just have more of that alphabet, so I'm going to donate those. Okay, so guys, that's not bad. Um, this was what I ended up keeping, this drawer um, full of them. And I'm just going to sort and organize them and put them um, in the areas that they belong in. But I also wanted to show you, so today was yellow 50% off. So half of $3.49. And in here um, are these Fisker stamps. They are Halloween, so of course I had to get them because we have like this, the witch, the um, the ghost, the funny pumpkins, and yeah, those are so cute. Look like, look at that pumpkin, so cute. It says spooky. There's a, a bunch of different bats, so yeah, um, grabbed that. And in the same bag, there was just like a bunch of loose. Um, glue sticks and of course I'm, I always use glue sticks so I'll just stick them in my glue stick drawer and I saw this last time I was there but it was $5.49 it's Cosmo Cricut they don't make these anymore but I was like there's no way I'm paying $5.49 for this kit half price still like to me kind of expensive but I took it like a sign it was still there <laughs> And it was 50% off, and I know I would have regretted it if I didn't pick it up when I was there. So, yeah, had to pick that up. Okay, guys, like, that's it for my crafty haul. Oh, I'm so excited about these stamps. I'm going to link that channel down below, and it's going to be on my to-do list to, like, bust out and dust out dust off all my stamps and like create something amazing. And then this is all the stamps that I'm, like, re-donating. And hopefully someone else can get, like, the joy out of them like I'm getting out of... Uh, these other stamps. All right, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye.